In this video, we're going to write a Python program to convert a total number of seconds into an equivalent number of days, hours, minutes, and seconds. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter the total number of seconds. We'll use the input function and we'll pass it the string seconds colon. This will prompt the user with the text seconds colon and the string the user enters is going to be returned by the input function. We want to take that string and convert it into an integer value. So we'll use the int function to do that. Then we'll store that integer value into a variable called total seconds. So now we have the total number of seconds to convert into an equivalent number of days, hours, minutes, and seconds. We're going to perform this conversion by using the divmod function to perform a series of division operations. So if we have some total number of seconds, like for example, 123 seconds, we can get the number of minutes in this number of seconds by dividing this number of seconds by 60. So if we have 123 and we divide this by 60, we'll get two remain to three because we have two minutes, two times 60 would give us 120. And then we have three seconds left after. So here we now have the total number of minutes in this number of seconds. So we use the div mod function, which will give us the quotient and the remainder of a division operation. And we'll divide the total number of seconds by 60. So we'll have total minutes and then comma seconds is equal to, and we'll call div mod and we'll pass it our total number of seconds and we'll divide that by 60. So div mod is going to return the quotient and the remainder and we'll store the quotient into total mins and the remainder of seconds into seconds here. And this will then give us the total number of minutes in this number of seconds. Then to find the total number of hours in this number of minutes, we're going to do basically the same sort of math because for example, if after performing this operation here, total mins is set to something like 195. If we divide 195 by 60, which is the number of minutes in an hour, then we'll get three remainder 15 because three times 60 is 180 and then plus 15 would give us 195. So this now gives us the number of hours and the remaining minutes afterwards. So we'll basically use the same sort of operation here to get the total number of hours and the remaining minutes. So we'll have total hours and then mins is equal to div mod and we'll pass it total minutes and we'll divide it by 60. And then once we have the total number of hours, we can divide that by 24 to give us the number of days and the number of hours left after. So for example, if we did have, let's say 52 hours, we divide that by 24, the number of hours in a day, then we would get two remainder four. So down here, we'll set days and hours to the return values of calling div mod with the total number of hours divided by 24, where the quotient is going to be the number of days in this number of hours, and hours is going to be the number of hours left after accounting for that number of days. Then we can output the days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So down here, we'll have print with days colon, and we'll output the days. We'll output the hours, and we'll output the minutes and seconds. So we'll have print with minutes and minutes, and print again with seconds and seconds. And now if we save the program and give it a try, if we enter in something like 123 seconds, We'll get here zero days, zero hours, two minutes, and three seconds, which is correct. If we try something harder, like for example, 200,000 seconds, we'll get here two days, seven hours, 33 minutes, and 20 seconds, which actually is correct. So this is how we can convert a total number of seconds into the equivalent number of days, hours, minutes, and seconds using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.